Samuel, World Junior Bronze last year. This field is absolutely loaded. Mayo, European under 23 champion a couple of years ago. And here's Grant Fisher. Listen to the noise. Seventh on the all time list in March with 26.33. No Americans ever won a medal in this race. Rupp's come the closest with fourth in Moscow nine years ago. 24 men, only one will be crowned champion. This is the final of the 10,000 meters. The track equivalent of the marathon gets underway. If you've ever run a 10,000, and I have, not as quickly as these men, I hasten to add, it is a brutal, brutal race. Tough conditions, but a wonderful atmosphere. The crowd here, fully appreciative of their distance running. This is Steve Prefontaine territory. Ooh, now there's been a, a little bit of an altercation there. I wonder if we might get a chance to see that again. It looked as though it might have been Jimmy Gressier taking offence at somebody chopping him up. Now, check to Guy is bridging that gap to the two early leaders, recognising that not everyone is willing to let this turn into a, a dawdle for the first few laps and then speed it up. It's Mayo, the former European under-23 champion from Spain, who leads, and he's going to try and turn this into an honest pace. That's uh, 66.7 for the first lap. So that is, just to put that in context, yeah, that's good running, it's 27 and a half. So this is interesting, Hannah. I think just that it's open to um, that was a full fall there from Angulo. It did look like it was almost a tangle with Carlos Mayo, so that could have been what kind of motivated Carlos Mayo to go, I'm not interested in this. Jimmy Cressy having time to all, look all the way around. Isaac Camilli raising his hand saying, Isn't it me? I had nothing to do with that, but Angulo luckily up running there, and that is uh, just part and parcel of endurance running. So it's also forward this morning in America as well. Mayo happy to be out in the lead. We saw English McCulkin, another European athlete, lead the women's 10,000 metres. Look at that, Carlos Mayo is just drifting to the outside there. Off. Wow, this is turning into a fantastic race. This is real bravery here from Jacob Kiplimo. A 64 second lap right in the middle of a searingly hot 10,000 metres with a seriously hot cast list. And look at that, he's out into lane two, tucks back in, blocking Worku, the Ethiopian, as Joshua Chetagai now leads. These two are good friends, they get on well back home in Uganda. There are definite team tactics at play here. And the Kenyans now talented men and take a second to listen to the noise. It's deafening here at Hayward Field. Who is going to create history? This is the stadium where they say feel the glory. Any one of these men could win it. You're watching a very, very special race here. Chip to Guy, the world champion, the defending champion, driving for glory for Uganda. They'll be on their feet in Ginger, in Kampala, but they're also on their feet in Addis Ababa. Aragawi hasn't been burnt off yet. The Rakers in second. Chip to Guy opens up a metre. The crowd are roaring for Grant Fisher. No Americans ever won a medal in this race. Chip to Guy, the world champion. Can he win it again? Last year, he was burnt up by Salomon Borega. But the champion from Doha is the champion once again. Here in Eugene, cometh the hour, cometh the Ugandan. That is the best performance we've ever seen from Joshua Chetagai. He was under so much pressure. Borega has had a great season. Last year, it was a 53-second last lap that cost Joshua Cheptegei the gold. This year, 
It's Chattagai who's run 53.4 and that is why he is now a multiple world champion over 10,000 metres. They threw everything at him in that race and 